There, Carol, I've forgotten how heavy that thing was. What are you doing, Mr. Turner? Oh, just some soothing music for my customers. I improve the ambience. Well, I like a bit of music while I work. It won't be in your way here, will it? Oh, not at all. That'll be fine. Carol, th th there's just one thing. If anybody should ask how long that's been there, th there's no need to say that I just put it in today. Why not? Well, as far as you're concerned, it's been there as long as you have. But I don't understand. Who's going to ask? Well, well probably nobody, but just in case somebody does. All right. Uh, and, and another thing. Uh, I don't want any drinks on the house today. I want everything to be just right today. Aha! It's the vat man, isn't it? You crafty old devil. You're trying to claim your hi-fi as a business expense, aren't you? It's a perfectly justifiable expense, Carol. I've been planning to do it for some time. Of course you have, Mr. Turner. I should think your customers might enjoy watching the telly and all, don't you? Yeah. Yes, you know, Carol, that's rather a good idea. Well, come on, then. Hi, love. Where are you off to? Oh, I'm off into Hotton. Get Alice's Christmas present. Oh, I was thinking of going into Hotton myself this afternoon. I'll take you in then, if you like. Oh, well, I thought I might go in now, because I'm going to go into Leeds this afternoon. I'm babysitting. Great, isn't it? I'm going to be seeing Alice again. Elsa rang you at last, then? Well, no, actually, I rang her. But what's it matter? I'm going to get to see Alice again, Mum, and that's all I care about. Oh, look, you know I said I'd spend Christmas with you? Well, would you be upset if I changed my mind? No, but... It's just that I thought I might ask Elsa over for Christmas Day. Give me a chance to see Alice. If not, I thought I might go to Leeds and see her. You're only babysitting, love. Don't get carried away. I know, Mum, but it's a start, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to see Alice and that's all I care about. Yeah, of course. Listen, I've got nothing to do. Why don't I run into Hotton now? Then you can take my present as well. There. Ah. Must have been been there for years. That'll be him. You know, 10.30 on the dot. Well, shall I get us? No, no, no. You, you carry on bottling up. Uh, and, Carol, remember, these things have been here ever since you can remember. Oh, oh my, my name's uh, Turner, uh, Alan Turner. Morning, Mr. Turner. I'm uh, Mackay. Mr. Mackay. Oh, yes. Yes, Mr. Mackay. Uh, well, w will, you, will you come through? Every everything's ready for you. Oh. Gone 11. Time for a break, eh? If we keep going with this, we can be finished by lunchtime. Then we can start that ditch this afternoon. Well, you are planning to have lunch, then. Sorry? Come on, Sarah. You're going to wear yourself out. You'll be fit for nothing. We need a break. Oh, speak for yourself, Jack. I've plenty of energy left. Thank you. You don't need to say that again. You're making me feel dizzy. Oh, come on, Jack. A hard day's work will do you good. I'll tell you what, then. When we've put Robert to bed, you can take it easy in a nice, long, hot bath. I can wash your back for you. I've far too much to do this evening. I've got to wash all the sheets tonight. Sarah? Well, I've got to get it done if we're going to be ready to move. Rather dull-looking chap with glasses. Yeah, yes, that's him. Oh, I'm afraid you're done for, old boy. That's definitely Mac the Knife. <coughs> so inoffensive. And don't be deceived by his appearance. The right little weasel he was never let a thing pass him by. Oh, dear. He'll be all right. Uh, Mr. Turner, shall I go and ask him if he wants a drink? Oh, yes, Carol. Would you do that? <laughs> Hang on a sec. That wouldn't be wise at all. Why is it not? That could be construed as a bribe, old boy. Oh, nonsense. Absolutely so. Somebody was telling me the other day about a restaurant in Skipdale got fined for just that. Yeah. Bribing the fat man. I think it was Mac the Knife himself. Yeah. Oh, Lord. I I I've given him the menu. I was going to offer him lunch. Definitely not. I uh, wondered if you'd mind taking these over to Elsa. Just a few little things to keep them going until I see them on Christmas Day. Christmas Day? Uh, yes, Elsa's invited me to spend Christmas Day with them in Leeds. 
Ah. She's only got two days off. The sales start on Boxing Day. So it'd be too much travelling for them to come here. You see, I was hoping that... Never mind. Caroline says you're spending Christmas with her. Looks like it. Well, it'll be better than staying here on your own. It's just what Mum said. It's not right. You should be spending Christmas with Elsa and Alice. Well, perhaps you could ask Elsa when you see her. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe Elsa's having second thoughts. Doubt it, Elizabeth. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna get to see Alice again, and that's all I care about. Um, how's it looking? <laughs> it's becoming increasingly difficult to tell, Mr. Tunnel. Well, I thought those accounts were very clear. They are. You know, I could do my job so much quicker if you would stop running in and out every five minutes peering over my shoulder. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Right, well, I'll, I'll, I'll leave you to it. Well, that's nice. I like a bit of Mozart while I work. Yes, yes, it's, it's, it's my favourite. Yeah, but it's rather unusual to hear Mozart being played in a pub. Your customers must have good taste. Yes. Yes, well, I'll, um, I'll leave you to it. Oh, uh, Mr. Turner, lunch. Now, I've been having a look at your menu and it all looks very tempting. The organic lamb cutlets. Uh, they look interesting. Local, I suppose? Yes, yes, Emmerdale, uh, Jack Sugden. Oh, I thought I might try them. Well, well I, I'm awfully sorry. We, we, we don't do lunch, you see. It's, it's dinner only. Oh. Oh, well, never mind. Just as well I brought my sandwiches with me, eh? My cheese sandwiches. Yeah, good. You wouldn't have any pickle, I don't suppose? Uh, no. No, no, a late delivery, you see. We, we, we ran out last night. I, I'll just let you, you get on with it, then. Uh, Mr. Turner, any chance of a drink? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Uh, do, do help yourself. The, the, the tap's just there. Will you turn that thing off? I can't hear myself think. If it's switched on, it'll seem more genuine, Mr. Turner. I don't want to draw their attention to the hi-fi. I wish I knew what was going on in there. You can go to prison, can't you? Fiddling your VAT. I am not fiddling myself. Well, what's all that, then? I'm just thinking of my customers, trying to improve their facilities. All right, I'll book telly on, then. Hey, I'll boost your cam tax, Mr. Turner. Yes, Seb, will you turn it off? I can't hear you, Mr. Turner. I said turn it off, you idiots. Uh, Mr. Turner, if you've got a minute, there's a couple of queries I'd like to sort out. Hi. Is it uh, all right to come in? Of course, Eric. Oh. Good. I say, hey, that looks rather fetching, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I uh, thought you were going to sell it. I thought you needed the money. If I'd realised what it was worth a year ago, I would have sold it. Instead of throwing it in with everything else at the sale. But now, well, it always was one of my favourites, so I thought, why not keep it? Well, at least I know it's there now, if I ever need that kind of money again. True. Would it have helped save the farm if you'd known? <laughs> no. We needed much more than that to carry on. Eric, mm -hmm. do you mind if I ask you something? Well, to tell you the truth, I'm a bit confused by the whole business. I don't quite know what to think. Yeah. It's more or less what Michael said. Michael? Yes, he came to see me yesterday. Uh, told me to stay away from you or else. How dare he? Well, you can't blame him, Elizabeth. He's worried about you. Doesn't understand why I gave you the painting either. So why did you? <laughs> Guilt. To make us all square, I suppose. Elizabeth, I've enjoyed spending my time with you. I really have, and I'd like for us to continue seeing each other. Uh, if you'd like to, of course. Well, yes. I don't want anything to go wrong between us. And the painting... Oh, I felt bad about that. 
I see. I want to be completely honest with you right from the very start. Thank you, Eric. So, <clears throat> how about uh, dinner tonight? I'd love to. Great. Uh, I'll um, with Mrs. Feldman this afternoon. Mrs. Feldman? She's my boss. She's very good, but uh, we all make mistakes, yeah, don't we? Oh, indeed. Just as well that I might find myself out of a job. Just turn it to blame Mrs. Feldman. Uh, I do hope you'll try our restaurant sometime. I think that's perhaps out of the price range of a VAT inspector. Although I must compliment you on the quality of your tap water. <laughs> So he got you then, Mr. Yeah. Turner. I suppose you'll be going across him and go up Mrs. Spellman now. Huh? I shall be pointing out one or two errors, yes, sir. But I'll try not to be too hard on it. It appears I've been overpaying my vet for the last three quarters. They owe me money. <laughs> Nice to see you, Caroline. Thank you. As long as you don't think I've come to check the petty cash. <laughs> Alan can be very persuasive when he wants to. It's just a pity he isn't a bit more thoughtful sometimes. <laughs> I bought a lovely little dress for Alice this morning. Do hope I get the chance to see her in it. Oh, I'm sure you will. I saw Nick. He seemed absolutely thrilled about seeing Alice and Elsa again. Poor Nick. He's so unhappy. Wish I knew what I could do to help him. Well, perhaps when he sees Elsa, they'll be able to start talking together again. I don't think that's very likely. It's a start, Caroline. Nonsense. He's going to babysit, that's all. Oh, no. I think there could be a bit more to it than that. From what I can gather, your daughter couldn't find a babysitter. And that's all there is to it. Do you really think she would have let Nick babysit if she hadn't been desperate? No. Not really. She's very young, though, Caroline. She just needs some time. I know that, Elizabeth. And I feel sorry for her in one way. It's not been easy for either of them. Well, maybe now that she's been away from Nick for a couple of weeks, she'll have realised what she's missing. Oh, for heaven's sake, Elizabeth. Elsa doesn't care about Nick. She's only concerned about herself. Well, of course, I'd expect you to take Nick's side. I'm not taking anyone's side. I'm just facing facts, that's all. It's just a pity we didn't face them a bit earlier. I don't know what you mean. It was never going to work, was it? They were always too young. We shouldn't have forced them into it in the first place. It was their own decision. Was it? I know Nick wanted to settle down with Elsa. But I don't think Elsa ever really knew what she did want. So she did what we all wanted. I see. So it's all my fault now, is it? Of course it isn't your fault. It was her decision in the end. Just like it was her decision to take Alice away from him. And I'm not sure I'll ever forgive her for that. Well, they might get back together again, Caroline. I mean, when Elsa realises what she's done. Tonight could just be the start. I'll tell you something, Elizabeth. If Elsa did want to get back with Nick, I'd do everything I could to stop it. Because as far as I'm concerned, she's hurt him enough. And I'm not going to stand around and let her do it again. Dad! Hey. Hiya. Daddy's here. How oh, is my little thing? All right? Hey? hey? I thought she had a bit of a cheek coming round like that. Oh, Nick is her son, Mum. She's bound to be concerned. That doesn't mean she can start tossing accusations all over the place. Oh, come on, Mum. She has got a point. I mean, Elsa did leave him in the lurch. You know what she's like when she's made her mind up about something. Michael, Elsa's your sister. You were calling her wicked the other day. Maybe so, but she's still my daughter, and she still needs my support. Yeah, I suppose so. Anyway, what are you getting dolled up for? If you must know, I'm going out for a meal. Oh, yeah? Who are we? Eric Pollard. 
pull on it. And while we're on the subject, Michael, I'd prefer it if you keep your nose out of my affairs. What do you mean? Oh, don't call me innocent. Eric told me all about your little trip to the market. Oh, I came running back to you like a scared rat, did he? It's typical. Actually, he was very gentlemanly. I apologised on your behalf. What did you do that for? Because you were wrong, Michael. Oh, you'll see I'm right. Look, I wouldn't trust Pollard as far as I could throw him. You seem fairly determined to learn about Pollard the hard way, Mum. Don't get much for your money, do you? It's Leeds. There's not as much space as in the Dales. I bought you a Christmas present. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't get you anything. Doesn't matter. It's only something from the store. <laughs> How are you coping? Great. No problems. I'm really enjoying my job. What about Alice? Well, the Charmander's is good. She likes it there. Something, I suppose. Listen, Nick, I'm running a bit late. I need to go and get ready. That's it's not even six o'clock. Well, I'm meeting some people in a pub beforehand. But we need to talk. What about? There's nothing to discuss. Make yourself a coffee or something. Thanks. So, Mac, then I've turned out to have no teeth after all, eh? Apparently not. Mr. Turner's well pleased with himself. <laughs> Turner overpaying his VAT. He never flaming well overpaid me. <laughs> Oh, Alan, everything went well then. Oh, like a dream, Eric, thank you. Like a dream. Seth, do you think you're doing? Oh, well, we're watching that. This is a pub, Seth, not a television lounge. We'll take that thing back after closing. Yes, Mr. Yeah. Quite a bit of please, Carol. I'll, uh, I'll pay for that, Carol. No so thanks, Pollard. I can get me own drinks. Now, now, my oh, come on. Call it a peace offering, eh? Well, I don't want it. You may be able to charm me mother, but it won't work with me, all right? Well, come on. And what I said the other day still stands. If you weren't my mother in any way at all, ever help me. Well, no, I'm sure. Michael seems a bit upset. Simple misunderstanding, Helen. Sons are sometimes very protective of their mothers, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I can assure you, he has nothing to worry about. Well, Elizabeth is a fine woman. I would be no happier than Michael if I thought you were messing about with her. I should keep away from her if I were you. I hardly think it's any of your business. I've brought you some bedding. Um, thanks. You certainly haven't lost your touch. With Alice, you always could make a smile. It's a pity I couldn't let you smile. Don't start, Nick. Is that a new dress? Is it nice? Uh, yeah, I got it from work. Right, you uh, you know where everything is. Look, we need to talk, Elsa. What about? About us, of course. There is no us, Nick. Why don't you just accept that? I know that, but what about Alice? I have rights, you know. I'm entitled to access. You see her now? I want to see her more regularly, though. I mean, for holidays and weekends. We'll sort something out. Look, I'm going to be late. Yeah, we'd better sort something out, because I'm warning you. If you don't, then I'll take you to court. After Christmas, eh? We'll talk then. OK. Don't wait up. OK! Are you all right? Yes. Uh, just wondering. Yes? Well, whether I should be taking you out or not. Of course. Why not? Because nobody else thinks it's a very good idea, that's why. Michael. No, not Michael, although he did have another go at me just now. No. Alan Turner thinks it's uh, time that he put in his two pennyworth as well. How dare he? He's no right. Well, maybe he has, Elizabeth. Alan Turner knows me better than most. I've done some stupid things in the past, Elizabeth. I can't deny that. But if our relationship is going to cause you any distress, I'd understand if you... I couldn't be going to dinner with a more perfect and honourable gentleman, Eric. Here's to us. <sighs> Strikes me we might as well get in Archie Brooks. At least we already know he's useless. I should still hear you. So what? He obviously hasn't got a clue. 
Poke it a bit harder, mate. See if you can bring it all down. Chris! I know, I know, I know. Keep my mouth shut. Let him get on with his job. Leave it to the professionals. I've run you a bath. Oh, thanks, Jack. I'll go up in a minute. Here, let me. Not now. <clears throat> Do you want a cup of tea? For heaven's sake, sit down. Relax. I'm all right. Look, you have the bath. I'll get one later. OK, love. If that's what you want. Hey. <coughs> Alice. Daddy's going to be staying with you all night. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, it's cold. I'll wait, Michael. Oh. Yes. The last thing I want to do after a heavy meal is uh, to go to rounds with <laughs> <laughs> I've really enjoyed myself tonight, Eric. It's so long since, well, since a man's taken me out on a date. Well, I'd like us to do it again sometime. I'd love to. I, I would offer you a coffee, but... Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Michael. Sarah. You made me jump. It's after midnight, love. I didn't feel like sleeping. What are you trying to do to yourself? I just, I just dozed off. Well, come on, love. Come to bed. I'm not tired, Jack. <laughs> you were fast asleep. I'll come up in a bit. Come on. The bed's nice and warm. All right. I'll do the milking in the morning. I'll do it. You take it easy. I'll bring you breakfast in bed if you like. What on earth for? I keep telling you, Jack, I'm not an invalid. 